All right, in the previous exercise, we saw how to set up a free blog on WordPress.com. Now what I want to show you how to do is set up a self-hosted installation of WordPress. So before you go jumping in and installing WordPress on your web server, here's a super fast rundown of WordPress's server requirements. And this is for WordPress version 2.9, by the way. So what you're going to need running on your web server is PHP version 4.3 or higher and MySQL version 4.1.2 or higher. Now, really any web server that supports PHP and MySQL is going to be just fine for you, but what's really recommended here is a Linux server. That's really going to give you the, the greatest flexibility. And optionally, you can also have the Apache mod rewrite module. And what that's going to do is give you what's referred to as clean URLs or clean permalinks. We'll talk about permalinks much later on, so don't get hung up on that. Now, I'm going to put the brakes on just for a second, because if you're not really you know, into web servers, if you're not really a technical person, and honestly, I am not a technical person at all myself, here's the thing. Most web servers are going to meet these requirements. Most companies that are offering web hosting, you're going to be just fine. But if you want, pop them an email or contact them and say, hey, I want to run WordPress on this hosting account. Do you guys support WordPress? And odds are they will. But just in case, this is the list of requirements that's going to be needed for you to run WordPress. So you can actually ask them about specific versions of PHP and MySQL and that sort of thing. So don't get freaked out by the technical lingo here. What I've done here is I just logged into the back end or the administration side of one of the sites that I run. And you can see up here on the address bar, it's jeff-blake.com. And right now, if I were to go to jeff-blake.com, there's nothing there. I don't have anything happening there. So what I want to do is I want to install a WordPress blog on that URL on that on that site, right? So here I am in the back end. And by the way, the hosting company that this particular site is hosted with offers an administration panel called cPanel. You can see here up at the top cPanel. And that's a pretty common interface, a pretty common administration interface anyway for self-hosted accounts. So hopefully you have cPanel as well. If you don't, by the way, I'm sure that your hosting company would help you set up a WordPress installation. In any regard, what I'm looking for here inside cPanel is something called Fantastico Deluxe. And again, if you have cPanel running on your own hosting company's site, go ahead and look for Fantastico, click on them, and you'll wind up here inside this interface. And you know, there's all kinds of things you can do here in Fantastico. You can set up classifieds, you can set up content management systems, and like a billion other things. But what we're after is blogs, and there I can see WordPress on the left-hand side. So I'll go ahead and click on WordPress, and let's see, we get a little description here of what WordPress is. And there's the homepage, wordpress.org. You can click on that link if you want. WordPress support forums. What we want is a new installation. There's the version that's going to get installed. There's the required disk space that is needed for this installation. I'm going to go ahead and click on new installation. And let's see here. I'm running a couple of different domains as a matter of fact, on this, this particular hosting account. And the one that I'm after, the, the domain that I'm after anyway, is jeff-blake.com, as previously mentioned. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. What I could do, and, and you see this a lot, by the way, is let's say, for example, it's a company, right? They would have the company name.com, that's the URL. And then they also want to have a blog, so they might do the company's URL.com for their normal website, for their company website, and then they might do something like this. They might create a subdirectory, if I can spell blog properly, there we go. And in other words, you'd have to go to jeff-blake.com forward slash blog to actually get to the WordPress blog, right? 
So that's an option. You can certainly mess with that if you want. Or sometimes I use this when I'm, you know, testing different things and I need a fresh installation of WordPress to mess with. If you leave this guy blank, then what's going to happen is WordPress is going to get installed on the top level, if you will, of the site. So in other words, going directly to jeff-blake.com would throw you into the WordPress blog, right? And that's exactly what I want to do here. Now, if everything that I just said there doesn't make any sense, well, you can read through this info here and hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense for you, but hopefully all good. Okay, then we have the admin access data. So we need a username and we need a password in these two fields here. So I'm gonna go with admin and admin because the bad guys would never guess that my username and password would be so simple. Anyway, admin nickname, I guess I'll just go with Jeff. The admin email, that is jeff at 10 tonbookscom Site name, Jeff's super cool blog. Okay, description, how about a whole lot about nothing. Sounds good. Okay. Hopefully all good. I hope this all makes sense here. Hopefully no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and click on install WordPress. Okay. Now the MySQL database and MySQL user blah, 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 <laughs> will be created and used for this installation. So in other words, that MySQL database is going to get created. Now don't get hung up on that. That's probably the, the toughest part, the trickiest part of working with a WordPress blog. Don't freak out about it. It's not that big a deal. And you know, if you're setting this up on either wordpress.com or here in your own hosting account, then you don't even really have to mess with it. I mean, beyond, you know, backing it up every once in a while. Okay, I chose to install this on jeff-blake.com. The access URL will be jeff-blake.com. Click finish installation to continue. So finish installation. And that should be all she wrote. Okay, so we get a bunch of information here. The first thing that I want to do here, I always do this just for paranoia's sake, is email the details of this installation to me. 10tonbooks.com. Now, if you're following along with me here and you're setting this up on your own site, don't email the details of your installation to me because that won't help you. Anyway, so I'm going to email my details of my installation to myself. Now, I want to mention something here. So here's how it's going to work. If you go to jeff-blake.com, that's going to throw you into the front end of the blog, of course, right? The back end, the administration area of the blog is here, jeff-blake.com forward slash wp hyphen admin. So you might want to sort of commit this to memory or copy it and paste it somewhere. Again, I'll hold down command here on the Mac or control on the Windows side, single click to open that up in a new tab. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And I'm just going to send this email before I forget because I want to make sure I have all of this. Okay, we're rocking here. So I will close out of that tab. Here's my, my login screen here. And I used the top secret code of admin for the username and admin for the password. Don't tell anyone, okay? Just between you and I. Remember me, log in. And I won't get Firefox to remember that right now. All right, there's our back end. This is the back end of our blog, our self-hosted blog. As you can see, nearly identical to the back end of the wordpress.com hosted account, right? So again, lots to look at in this main area here, this main interface, and this huge hulking list or this huge hulking menu that we've got to get to down the left hand side. So we'll definitely tour through all of that. Let's go and take a look at the live site here. So I'm going to click on this visit site. But once again, I'm going to hold down controller command before clicking on visit site. All right, this is my live site. There it is, jeff-blake.com. And there's my default blog. And again, this default look or the default look and feel for this blog, which is called the blog's theme, which we'll get to, is called Kubrick. And it's kind of plain, not too exciting, so we'll have to do something with that. So there it is, Jeff's blog, a whole lot about nothing.